I was filming a thing in LA and I went to meet Brian and had a chat. And then, but then I wasn't available and then the thing I was doing, they wouldn't let me out of the contract and then I was and then I wasn't again. So it was a very torturous sort of lead up to it. I am quite a physical actor. I, I do sort of respond to things in a physical way and um, and I think I think about the way a, a, a character moves um, first. Very thoughtfully, um, the film had a, a movement person to help me. He's called Terry Notary, and he'd worked with Cirque du Soleil. And his sort of circus background was good because Nightcrawler was supposed to come from the circus. And but but he's also worked on like um, Planet of the Apes and uh, The Grinch and things, helping actors find a style of movement that that is kind of unique for the projects. Remember that the shoulders come up, the oil comes up, over, around, over your shoulders and down your back. Let the oil drip down. Good. The presence of a superhero is, is such a fine line between what's beautiful and what's ugly, <laughs> you know? It's, it's incredible the, how fine that line is when you're in this beautiful makeup and you're, you're, you've got a tail and you've got, you know, these beautiful hooves on your hands and feet. There's a real scary line between what looks great and what can look really bad. So it's, it all comes down to subtlety and the subtleties of the movement are really, really important. What I like to do when we're, when we're discovering a new character is uh, start working on the torso. Just try to build the frame and see what, because the frame is the essence of the character. With this character, um, he's, he's got a, he has a prehensile tail and he's super flexible. So I thought it would, might, might be interesting to kind of continue the movement of his tail through his spine and up through his shoulders. So it started that way. I was so I just started playing with the idea of him feeling as though the tail was a continuum of his own spine. Here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, costumes? <laughs> again. Just tore his pants open. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was had the balance of being not too, you know, not too animal, and and yet not kind of human, and be able to be quite subtle, yes. suggest things. So, so it was quite uh, hard to nice do that, and it's quite hard yeah. work because you know you, you you find out the way to do it by jumping around and running about. The makeup, the worst thing about the makeup is the getting up so early. I mean, actually, that's a lie. The worst thing is, is there's many worse things about it. These are some of the original designs for, um, or con concept drawings for Nightcrawler for his tattoos. And this is the, f the first look we see him in, um, in the White House, the, the paint. We've changed this considerably, <clears throat> as you'll see in the movie. There's, a, there's another concept. These ones here are very close to where we're going. Each of these symbols are our conjuring symbols. They, they conjure up angels. Each one conjures a different kind of angel. Those symbols have been around for like thousands of years. Um, and this is very close to where we, <clears throat> to where we end up. See, but he did put some shadows on here. I, I see all that. I, I'm not disputing that. I, what, I'm, what I wanted to see was design. Some kind of, like, dark, now light, and it's almost like... Sorry. Do we have a wet nap or something? Let me see. There we go. Go right there, Brian. Mm, yes. Oh, this is going to... Okay, this is going to literally else, take anyway. stuff off. Yeah. Right. I, yeah, I'll clean you up here. Um... Almost like that Michael no, Jackson just, it face. just tears off the stuff. <laughs> Watch right Michael Jackson. You know that? Right on his face, because he doesn't have the plastic. He has a plastic on He has a base but Look at this. Now, but look, look what happens here, though. I mean, here's... I tore it here. So forget that. But just yeah. something like... 
something like a faint faint thing a faint thing there but more faint where a green for instance is there's a green underneath here and then oh if i have that kind of yeah, luxury with other colors yeah, a gr then like, by all means uh, there's, there's lots of like there's a green here and then it bleeds into the, the green the blue bleeds into the green so we're not you, you so we're so we're not concerned that is no, we, we can put more colors here yeah 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 the blue the, the, it's primarily going to be blue the blue will overshadow things the green will just bounce it a little bit and there's these tattoos that go on first of all that are sort of raised tattoos which they have to transfer onto my face and then they sort of syringe they get these syringes and it's like it's like icing a birthday cake they kind of trace out the patterns it's absolutely a nightmare from hell we have special syringes we just basically line them on over top of the uh, transfers and it gives us a raised scarring pattern it takes a long time longest part of the makeup it's hard to have anyone invade your space at that time in the morning, let alone two grown men with the airbrushes. And also the airbrushes are really cold. They, make, they, they heat up the paint, but as soon as it goes into the air, it's really cold in your face. first coat for neck. That gives you an idea of what he has to go through. That's only the first coat. And uh, these are the elements that we've built for him. These are his, um, these are his feet. And there um, he has a, a custom made leather boot inside here with elastic, with elastic that slides on. So we uh, slide them on and off. They're quite comfortable, a custom fit to his, to his own feet. And this is his tail harness and his, and his tail. And we interchange these tails. There's a spring steel inside uh, these things. So it's all based on the premise of, the, of um, gravity and movement. So rather than try and puppet it with strings and stuff like that, we let his own body movement manipulate the tail so it's a very natural movement and you'll and I'll show you here how we uh, how we make those connections we just uh, unscrew these and the rod slides out and we can put a new tail on with a with a new rod and a new configuration and we have tails like this that have armature wires in them that we can just bend to whatever for like wrapping around a, a tree or something like that that he's that he's hanging from and his teeth, I had those made in England. Yeah, go for hands. I'm gonna put the other one And his eyes are made in England. We got you off the drugs. Okay, I'm ready. have crack at the moment. These should be easier to wear too because you're Without that cataract, they won't be so occluded, do they? But don't they smoke off in the center on the other ones? Okay. Don't they blend off a little bit? It's like Chinese torture, constantly poking. I mean, it's like three or four hours in makeup, depending how well I behave, and ten hours when the day that I did my whole body. I mean, that that was with three people at me for ten hours. It's just maddening. You want to like lash out and punch people. Never, ever again. <laughs> ever as a sequel. <laughs> we have to talk. <laughs> <laughs>